Ah, you must be my opponent. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess you're going first. Yep. Good fun. Have luck. You too. I'll let you know if I have anything. All right. Uh, normal sword game. Chimera. Neat. Effect. Yeah. So let's go Perfman. Add Gazelle. Chimera Fusion. Uh, effect Rip. Destruction to Summon. Fugan. Pitch Flashing. Uh, fountain. Tip Search. Tip. Okay. Vanish okay. one. Hit throw. All right, it's fine. Slumber on Hugan. Slumber, cool. Yeah. I hit all three thrones and a Lotus. All right, uh, so I'll play this. Rip a card out of your hand. And let's play this. Take your car keys. Uh, let's see. Uh, your house key now? Man, dude, you, you why don't you have an answer to anything? Uh, hey, look at that. I'm playing your deck now. You don't get to play anymore. Uh, I win the match. You now don't have the ability to play any more cards for the rest of the game. And you get all your things back, but everything is broken. And finally, I think I'll finish off with your entire deck's banished. All right, I win. Lads, welcome back. And today we're gonna be going over the, uh, the deck profile for Chimera Runic. This is a deck I've been playing around with for a long while now. But with that being said, we have the deck profile here. Uh, it does have some new cards in it, and I really can't wait to show off what this deck is all about. This is just going to be the main and extra. We'll be going through it engine by engine, card by card. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and you know, leave a comment. Let us know what you think of the deck profile and any questions you have down below. All right, let's dive into it. Starting off with the newest member of the Illusion Chimera stuff, it is Nightmare Apprentice. So, you could special summon this card from your hand by discarding a card. Uh, you can only special summon it once per turn this way, and if this card battles, neither can be destroyed by battle. Uh, when it's normal or special summon, you get to add an Illusion monster from your deck to your hand except itself. So that's really helpful for digging through your deck for your combo starters. Uh, you can really deck thin a lot if you are a, like if you know your opponent doesn't have droll or whatever. You can use this to really just dig deep and make sure your deck is as many of the runic cards as can be, uh, which is super helpful. We're playing three copies of Mirror Sword Knight because um, Nightmare Apprentice is a one and a half card combo. Mirror Sword Knight is a one card combo by itself. It gets you through the entire Chimera combo. As a quick effect, you can tribute this card, special summon a monster from your deck uh, that mentions Chimera Fusion except itself. And then it also can banish itself from the graveyard while Chimera, the king of mythical beasts, is on the field or in the graveyard to negate a monster effect. Uh, we got three copies of Big Wing Burfamet. Burfamet on summon is able to add a level four beast monster and or Chimera Fusion from the deck to your hand. Uh, the other benefit here is that when it's sent to the graveyard uh, as material for a fusion summon, uh, you can target an illusion monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So it's a monster reborn on top of being another Full combo. We got two copies of Gazelle. Gazelle is one of the beasts of the deck, but this card lets you add Chimera Fusion or a, fee a level five fiend monster from your deck to your hand. And then when it's set to the graveyard as fusion material, you get to add an illusion monster from your deck uh, to your hand. Next up, we got Cornfield Kotal. We run it as a one of. What it lets you do is discard itself to the graveyard to add an illusion monster that mentions Chimera Fusion, for, uh, add a monster from your deck to your hand that mentions Chimera Fusion. And then it can negate a targeting effect by banishing itself from the graveyard. This card is really strong, but I really wanted to try out the two new cards, which is Talons of uh, Shirelane and Master Tao the Chanter. Talons of Shirelane, you get to target a fiend or illusion monster that you control, accept itself, return it to the hand, and then special summon this card. And when your opponent activates a card or effect that uh, targets your cards, you can target one monster your opponent controls and return that card to the hand. And then if you do that, destroy that monster. Master Tao the Chanter can't be destroyed, obviously, like the same with everything. But if it's set to the graveyard, you could target an illusion monster in your graveyard except itself and special summon it in defense position. Uh, but you can't special summon from the graveyard for the rest of the turn except illusion monsters. So like Tao can bring back Burfamet, or not Burfamet, it can bring back Mirror Sword Knight, which can get you started. Um, which is really strong. So these guys, I just really like them as one of. It gives you some a uh, answers, like this can be a searchable card off of uh, Gazelle if you've already used Kotal. 
So you can go, okay, get this. Now I've got an interruption in the hand because it's bounce effect to summon is during the opponent's turn. So you've got an interruption there. You have Chanter, which can be a monster reborn to get to set up your board to do it all over again. So it just gives you some flexibility that I really like. Uh, and then finishing off the Chimera package, we are playing two copies of Chimera Fusion. Next up is the Fright for Patchwork engine. So we're playing two chain, one patchwork, one poly. That is it. Uh, this is all you need. This is a fiend, which is incredibly important to the strategy because uh, Chimera Fusion requires you to use a beast or fiend. This being a fiend that also searches you patchwork. So like if you open Edge of Chain with the combo, you can use Edge of Chain, get patchwork, use patchwork, and you just deck then by three, like you deck the three cards off of just having this with the standard combo. Then the Runic package. We're playing two Runic Fountain. We're playing three tip, uh, Flashing Fire, then we got three freezing curses, which will negate a monster effect. We got three destruction that will destroy a spell or trap. Runic slumber that will either summon a monster or protect a card from destruction, a monster from destruction specifically. Smiting storm, runic dispelling. Uh, and then the last two cards for the deck, making it 41, is two copies of talents. I did not have enough space to play any hand traps, but the runic cards are very efficient at creating disruption. In the extra deck, we're playing two copies of Hugin. One Munin, which lets you win in time because you gain life points. One Gary that lets you get F Fountain back from the graveyard. And one Slepnir. Uh, next up is two copies of Chimera, the King of Phantom Beasts. Uh, this card allows you to rip a card out of your opponent's hand, and then it can banish itself from the graveyard to special summon um, a card from the graveyard. We got a Burfamet and a Chimera, the Illusion Beast. This lets you win games out of nowhere, and Burfamet lets you dump cards from the deck, which could let you dump like Tau to get a free monster reborn to be able to continue playing. Uh, then we're playing Mud Dragon and Garura. Typically with this deck, you'll want to side deck Super Poly. This gives you two targets because you had some extra space, but you can hard make these. There are ways to make both of them in the deck inherently, which is really nice as well. Uh, one Magnum of the Reliever. Uh, if you're able to get to this card, this card is huge. It's also a Fiend, which is really nice. Uh, but being able to pop cards is a quick effect by banishing things like your polymerization, really strong. It also lets you draw cards and reset polymerization in the deck. One Guardian Chimera, that's like the big boss monster of the deck. Uh, and then we're playing one Dark and one Nightmare Unicorn. Lads, that's gonna do it for the Chimera Runic deck profile. This deck is super neat. If you wanna try something out that's very versatile and can play a lot of different ways in the same game, this is it. Uh, so try it out. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And until next time, lads, good fun. Have luck.